Welcome to Math World. In this video, we are going to study one important theorem of number theory which helps in solving system of linear congruences that is Chinese reminder theorem. It says uh, let n1, n2 dash dash nr be positive integers such that they are relatively prime for all i not equal to j gcd of ni comma nj is 1 then the system of linear congruences x congruent to a1 mod n1 x congruent to a2 mod n2 dash dash x congruent to ar mod nr has a unique solution modulo product of n1 n2 dash dash n r okay it says the system has a solution and it says that that solution is unique so to prove this we just have to construct the solution first and then we have to prove that it is unique okay so let us go for constructing the solution for the system of linear congruences so for that sake let us take a product of all these positive integers first so I'll denote it as n small n okay which is nothing but n1 into n2 into n3 into n r okay and I'll write one more number that's say capital n i which is nothing but product of small n i divided by particular n i okay see n i is nothing but product of all small n i just taking out the common uh, common term that is n i capital n i is nothing but product of small n i just omitting the small n i one particular small m i n i okay now i claim that this g c d of this n i capital n i with small n i is one i'm just claiming that let us see how it is i'm saying capital n i and small n i are relatively prime so suppose they are not relatively prime okay what happens there must be a divisor say d okay suppose mm, that there is a divisor d which divides uh, capital n i and small n i okay it's a divisor common divisor of capital n i and small n i since we know that it is mentioned see all n i's are relatively prime right n i's or n j's for i not equal to j they are relatively prime so i can say n i's or n j's you can write anything uh, all n i's are relatively prime in pairs right okay so i can just say i'll write nj just not to have the confusion okay since all nj's are relatively prime in pairs if d divides ni then d must divide nj right for all j not equal to i right since these n i s are relatively prime so if any divisor which divides n i then it must divide n j also hmm? so from that i can say d divides g c d of n i comma n j hmm? what is this actually g c d of n i comma n j it is one so d divides 1 it just implies that common divisor must be equal to 1 that's why 
they are saying GCD of capital NI with small NI is equal to 1 okay so uh, since the GCD of NI equal no, comma NI is 1 uh, from the theory of uh, single linear congruences I can say that uh, NI has an inverse modulo NI capital NI has inverse modulo NI right so when there is an inverse it must have a solution right so I'll write let xi be such that see ni xi is congruent to one more ni is it okay from the theory of uh, linear congruences since the gcd of ni and ni is one i can directly write there is uh, xi such that ni xi is congruent to one more ni in fact it's same as saying capital ni has a inverse modulo ni okay so when this is the case see for all such ni's ni xi is congruent to one mod ni okay but we know what is ni right ni is nothing but n minus n i we know this right what is n it is n1 into n2 into dash dash n i into dash dash n r it's a product right divided by n i huh? this we know now see n i x i is congruent to one more small n i this is for all those n i's but when i take mod n j what happens to this what happens to this for nj see this ni will include nj right hmm? so when it is a product of that it's congruent to 0 mod ni ni capital ni is product of all n 1 n 2 n, n 3 ni up to nr right hmm? it even included nj huh? when it is included nj when i take mod nj that value will become zero right so because it's a product ni is a uh, one term is in ni is nj okay that is not omitted therefore it gives me zero mod nj so when this is the case if I take solution x as say x1 n1 sorry a1 plus x2 n2 a2 dash dash xr nr ar okay and I take this this is x1 n1 a1 okay in that when I take with respect to mod n i mod n i this will be congruent to 0 plus 0 one term will remain here that is x i n i a i modulo n i when I take congruence I'm sorry congruence with respect to mod ni why because see, i have mentioned here for all those nj's huh? and since ni is a product of nj so for that case it is giving me zero mod nj for only for ni it gives me one right hmm? so same thing so everything will go to zero mod ni only a item will remain so I can directly write X is congruent to XI NI AI mod NI okay this is the solution now 
and you can even write this as xi ni is congruent to 1 mod ni therefore i can directly write it as congruent to ai mod ni okay now we have constructed the solution the thing is we need to prove that this is the unique solution so for uniqueness of the solution let us assume that it has got two solutions okay mm. suppose uh, x and y are the solutions okay of this congruence uh, say x is congruent to ai mod ni that's one solution for the system of linear equation and this is another solution y is congruent to ai mod ni this is for all i from 1 to r okay if these two are the solutions i need to prove that the solution is unique right so if these two are the solution i need to prove that they are equal for that sake see when i write x is congruent to ai mod ni and y is congruent to ai mod ni then i can write x minus y is congruent to 0 mod ni right from the properties of congruences so what does it mean when i say x minus y is congruent to 0 mod ni it says ni divides x minus y for all i ranging from 1 to r right it's ni divides x minus y what does it mean x minus y is the multiple of ni for all 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to r since we know that ni's ni's are relatively prime to each other so we can say that uh, x minus y is product of some bu bunch of all relatively primes uh, numbers relatively prime numbers that means a uh, product of all these ni's means it's n only what is y product of all ni it is n right ni divides x minus y means x minus y is the multiple of ni since all ni's are relatively prime to each other i can say that x minus y is a product of bunch of ni's right so i can say that n divides x minus y hmm? what does it mean it means x is congruent to y mod n that means two solutions are equal mm, therefore the system of linear congruences has a solution and that solution is unique okay. in my other videos i have already solved um, problems on this chinese reminder theorem you can just go through it thank you